Well, we talked about uh, evidence of iron-rich microspheres, dust pools of molten iron, chemical evidence of cutter charges. Um, this is all direct evidence of explosive destruction. And uh, none of these pieces of evidence can be accounted for by fire, let alone all of them. I mean, the odds would be about a trillion to one that all of them would occur to, due to fire. Uh, we have supporting evidence uh, from the FEMA and NIST reports. Uh, in fact, uh, what does NIST say, by the way? Uh, we paid them $10 million, um, $20 million, and they had three years. And their objective was to determine how and why World Trade Center 1 and 2 collapsed. And, uh, but look at their, look at their stated uh, objective uh, as they wrote the report. The focus of the investigation was on the sequence of events from the instant of aircraft impact to the initiation of collapse. They didn't go past the point where the first truss pulled away from the first column. In other words, they say that the structural behavior of the, of the, of, of the uh, collapse was not even analyzed. They have one half a page in the entire 10,000 page report that merely speculates that the whole thing came down at free fall speed. No analysis whatsoever. The, the report is titled Final Report on the Collapse of the Twin Towers. Really, all they took it to was the initiation. It should be called the Final Report on the Initiation of Collapse. <coughs> we, we had a problem with several of their analysis. They wrote back, we're unable to provide a full explanation of the total collapse of the Twin Towers. We think so, too. There is plenty of corroborating <coughs> evidence, which I would encourage you to take a look at in our uh, DVD. Structural engineers, 30 of them, signed on to our petition demanding a new investigation, <coughs> including these fire protection engineers. This one says all three collapses were uniform in nature. Natural collapses due to unplanned events are not uniform. Now, maybe we've shown that the evidence amounts to proof of controlled demolition. Let me ask you though, we asked you before, I'll ask you the same three questions, and let's just find out where we are in the room. How many of us believe that the Twin Towers were brought down according to the official story with jet plane impacts, fires, structural weakening due to fire, and a gravitational collapse down to the bottom? Raise your hand really high if, if you do, and please don't be intimidated. Thank you. Um, one, is there anybody else? Two. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're, you're kidding. Are you kidding over here? You're not kidding. You get the first question, so, so thank you. I want to know what your questions are. How many people are unsure at this point? Um, let, me, let me just ask. Hold up high. Go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, 16, 17, thank you. Uh, 17 unsure. We had 62 before. We had 15 believing in the official story, and we have one afterwards. It's a significant uh, problem uh, for those of the rest of us, particularly, who believe in controlled demolition. How many of us? Ah, geez. Uh, you guys uh, have a problem. <laughs> the problem is, is that, once again, this is one of the highly, most highly secure buildings outside of the Pentagon. Did Al-Qaeda have access? Why didn't we see the truth about 9-11? Well, let's take a look. It appears as if our government lied to us about these building collapses. The 9-11 Commission re reinforced that lie. Yes? Yeah, thank you. Uh, the, the FEMA and NIST justified the lie. The corporate media repeated it and they hammered it in. Uh, we really didn't have much of a chance. Uh, so we've seen that explosives were used. Uh, most of us are, are convinced anyway. Some of us are still unsure. Uh, but for the rest of us, uh, th that, that explosives were used, planted, and placed in, the, in these buildings. And architects and engineers for 9 11 Truth don't speculate as to who may have been responsible, how this was pulled off, why we didn't know about it until now. So unfortunately, this is just the beginning of a very disturbing, really, nightmare for, for you back into 9 11. Uh, a very essential journey, though. The evidence you've seen tonight is just a small fraction of that which we've assembled for you. The questions raised are numerous and ominous, which must be investigated in a new investigation. Uh, it must be answered. You'll have to discover the evidence that I've not had time to give you tonight. We have to follow up. Uh, we have two hours of vital information, which we couldn't give to you today, in two different DVDs. One is the two-hour DVD. The other one is an abridged version. Maybe you won't have two hours. 
Maybe you have 10 minutes. So we have 10 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute abridged versions. That's called the companion DVD to the two hour version. They're both back there. We also have 9-11 uh, Mysteries uh, back there for you and some other excellent DVDs and books so that you can start looking at this information. We're asking everybody to sign our petition uh, if you believe you want a new investigation. Maybe you're still unsure. Everyone can sign. We have categories not only for architects, but for others as well, and engineers. Um, so please, we have to get a new investigation. Sign, stand up and be counted. Everyone can sign the, the, the petition, as, as I mentioned. Uh, millions are becoming aware uh, as part of the 9 Truth Movement because of architects and engineers from 9 Truth. We're the point of credibility for the movement because we're the technical building and professionals. So here's where you sign the petition, right in the middle. And you can fill out in your brochure a petition also and leave it at the back. And uh, that can be very, very helpful for, for us. Uh, we're also asking you to become a sustaining member. We're a nonprofit organization. And we have gone to the San Francisco AIA Convention of 20,000 Architects, gave thousands of DVDs out. It's our mission to educate the profession, architects and engineers. This is a money-losing operation. We were funded by our members. So we're asking all of you today to consider becoming sustaining members of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. For $10 a month, you can make a huge difference. We have 100 sustaining members. I'm now full-time with AE 9-11 Truth. I don't have time to have a job. I'm earning about half the money that I was as an architect, and I'm having twice the fun. But I need your support, because my 401k won't last forever. So we're building a very important um, organization. We have 30 volunteers, uh, nine board members, and we're, we're very serious for our long-term objectives, which is to make everybody in America aware of the truth about 9-11 support our full-time members, and help us make history by breaking into mainstream media this year, because we have three more conventions, particularly July, where we still don't have the funds to go to the AIA conference in Washington, D.C., and set up a booth like we did in San Francisco. Uh, so it, it takes funding, and consider, please, making a large donation. Some of you, uh, $100 a month would not even be a drop in the bucket help us. Some of you could write a check today for $1,000. In fact, we have a challenge grant out now by uh, a woman named Laurel from Los Angeles, where we spoke last night. And, and she says she'll give $1,000 to us if it's matched this week. I'm not, I'm not making this up like they do on PBS. Right? This, is, <laughs> this is real. I couldn't believe she said this. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. So here I am being pledge drive central. So uh, help us also get the, the vinyl banners, the DVDs, into the hands of the people in the street, the real heroes of the 9-11 Truth Movement. Uh, support our efforts to speak in every major and minor city throughout America and speak in Japan as well. So you can fill out the backside of the petition form is a sustaining member form. Bring it up to me so that I can thank you personally. I would really appreciate that today. If you can't do that, you can go online tonight, become a sustaining member. So please, it's not too late. Discover for yourself where you draw your line in the sand. 